Hi, it's Craig, WRNM 382. Today's video, we're gonna be switching gears and talking about a GMRS radio from Radiodity, the UV5G Pro, and we'll get to it right after this. The items you get with the radio, you get the owner's manual, the earpiece microphone headset, belt clip, the charging cradle, antenna, 1800 milliamp hour battery, and of course the radio. At the time of filming this video, this radio is currently going for $25.99. That's for the single pack set. You can get a two pack set, which goes for $52.99. That comes with two 15 inch antennas and a programming cable. They are doing a coupon code here, Autumn 24 which will get you an extra 15% off. They say that this radio does five watts. It has 128 channels and that it's GMRS repeater capable, has NOAA. And they're showing the 11 NOAA channels, 128 channel memory, eight band receive, dual watch, and the ever present flashlight on Baofeng radios. And here's your eight band scanner and receiver you get you can receive on 350 to 390, 220 to 260, 108 to 136 megahertz. And then for the GMRS frequencies, that's obviously receive and transmit. Receive NOAA, UHF, VHF, and the commercial FM stations. Here's some specifications for you. And all the accessories you use on any UV5R or the like will all fit with this radio, be it batteries, microphones, and programming cables. They even show you a couple of accessories you can buy with it. And they have the difference between the 15 and a half inch and the stock 5.9 inch. Here's your two cable, your two radio set. Comes with double everything except the programming cable. Quick look around this radio, starting with the left side. Center button, the large one, push to talk. Bottom one here is for monitor. A fast push gets you the flashlight, hit it again for the strobe, and a third time for off. Press and hold, you get the monitor. The top orange button here, push that once quick, and you get radio stations, your commercialized station. Press and hold, and you get the alarm. I have it set for only to go through the radio, not to be pushed out through the antenna. On the top, of course, flashlight, power volume knob, and the antenna. On the right side here, open this flap for plugging in microphones and programming cables. In the front of the radio, obviously you have your display screen with your A and B channels here. The orange button will get you in and out of VFO and memory. You have your transmit receive indicator light. This switches you from the A to B. This will help you select the different bands. This will get you in the menu. You can use these up and down arrows for changing frequency or while you're in the menu. This exit button gets you out of the menu. And then these can help you directly program whatever frequency you want or move around the menu. On the battery you have your contacts for the charging cradle. And to remove the battery you just push this button and slide it right off. Let's take a look at the power of this radio. Numbers you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to are right here. These large numbers, that is the SWR, and we are going through a dummy load, so don't worry about that. Again, this is where it's gonna show the power of the radio. We're gonna start with GMRS channel one, then we're gonna go midway through the band at about GMRS channel 15, and then we'll hit one of the repeaters. Now this is supposed to be a five watt radio. And we can see we're at 3.69 to start. Now let's check out midway through. Try that again and again, 3.6. Let's go up into where the GMRS repeaters are.
and again, 3.6. Again, this was supposed to be a 5 watt radio. I would like to see this at least over 4 watts. Now I'm going to show you how to program a repeater from the front end. It's my understanding you cannot use the software to program a repeater. You can only use the software to add a name tag. But you can't do the name tag from the radio. Why it's like that, I have no idea. Hopefully they'll change that in the very near future. First thing you want to do is input your frequency. To do that, you go to VFO, which is where the orange button comes in. Press that, switches you to VFO. Input your frequency, which in our case is 462. 675. Once you have that input, go into the menu and you're going to go to channel 13 or menu item number 13. And you can hold the button to get down there quicker. To get in to change it, press the menu button and then you can make your change. We do happen to want 146.2. Lock it in by pressing the menu button again. And then we're going to go up to menu item number 25. That's where we're going to take care of the shift. You have your choice of the positive, negative, and off. In this case, we want positive. Lock it back in. Go up and do your offset. And we want 5.0 as you can see how it's set to change it go ahead and click down then you can put whatever offset you need then you're going to go up to 27 and we're going to input it into a memory channel in this case we're going to use 35 once you have the channel set that you want lock it in then go ahead and exit out switch over to memory and you can see that we are locked in to 35. Now I'm going to try this out. I don't know if the repeater is going to work. We did have a large fire out here, so I don't know if that repeater got torched or not. WRNM 382 testing. Well, it does seem to be working. We did get the repeater to come back, so we know we have it programmed properly. And like I said, if you want to go ahead and put a name tag on there, you're going to have to download and install the software from radioddity.com so that you can make that change. Now, if you want to use the programming software from Radioddity, when you're on their web page, go to Support, go over to Baofeng, click on that, then scroll down until you find the radio that you're looking for. In this case, it's the UV5G Pro. And it shows you that they have the PDF for the manual in case you lose yours and the programming software. Go ahead and click and download that. Now, once you've got the software all loaded up to your computer, go ahead and open it up. Make sure you have your programming cable plugged in. You're going to want to set up the programming cable. Go to Settings, then click on Port. Choose the COM port you need. In my case, it's just four. Click OK. Then click on Read. Hit Start, and it'll download from the radio. Once that is done, you can see everything's in there. And here's the channel we did before. Now, like I was saying, you can't input a repeater into here. For example, if we were going to redo this one, 462.0. 675. See, so it inputs everything you need, but you cannot put any other frequency in here. So that's just the way that goes. So we will change this to something we may want to monitor, and we'll do the calling, national calling frequency 146.520. Then we'll put a name for it. Then up here, we're going to put as much of Santiago as we can. And then once you have all the ones you want to input, all the frequencies you'll need, and change up some of your, your repeaters, go over to Edit, 
click on optional feature and that brings up pretty much the menu how you want your band A frequency mode to start out, band B you have your generics like your colors of the lights whether you're transmitting or receiving timeout, timer, squelch level, vox the auto backlight how you want the channel names to display once you have everything done there, click close. Once you're all done with everything in here, you're going to write it to the radio. Again, hit start. And once it's done, you'll see the light that was flashing on the radio goes off. And this will not disappear. You'll just have to X out of it. And that's all there is to using the Radiodity software. I do like this radio. I actually like its size. It fits in the hand nicely. It's got a good weight to it. The one big problem I see is the fact that it's, in my opinion, not even close to the 5 watts advertised on the website. If this was at least like 4.5 watts, that would be fine. I mean, I know the difference between 4 and 5 watts is not a huge amount. This radio is a nice, inexpensive way to get started with GMRS. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos, and again, thanks for watching.